ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ವಿಜಿಲ ಸತ್ಯನಾಥ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೈಸ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಆನರೆಬಲ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಿಮೆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಐ ಓಕೆ ಸಾರಿ ಎಸ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಐ ವೈ ನೋ ನೋ ವಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವೇಷನ್ಸ್ uh one or two observations which i wanted to bring out in this bill why the intending couple have to wait for 5 years because it is written after 5 years you can go for surrogation so sare uh, to go for surrogate mothers and they can opt for this choice but why wait for 5 years because if your girl has no uterus and why she has to wait for 5 years so then she can uh, immediately because it is when she gets married by 25 then she has to wait up to 30 years and uh, after that only she has to go for other options so it is better where when there is there should be uh, that waiting period has to be reduced in some circumstances in a special circumstances like this and the definition of a close relative this also has to be defined close relative who is the close relative if for example if a elder brother's wife has become a surrogate mother for a younger brother then the family resides in one house and the elder brother wife bores the child for the younger brother but what will happen if this children both are in the same uh, house how emotional problems will come if if the younger uh, brother's wife slaps the girl then what will the elder brother's wife do so it is emotional bondage is there bondage is there so the relative the close relative is uh, it is unacceptable in these conditions how emotional bondage we have to see this uh, special cases so i feel what we what we all feel in these circumstances it is better the close relation should be much defined and the compensatory uh, after uh, the surrogation it is 15 months and they have to go for the insurance so if if there is a death in this circumstance then the insurance will bore but for myself i think so if a surrogate mother wants to have a you know, once once she goes for the uh, uh, when she has the desire to go as a surrogate mother she has to be given compensation not commercial not commercial it should not be commercial but some compensation she's boning the baby for 9 months and she has all uh, she has to maintain her health she she cannot work for 9 months she cannot work properly how can she earn for 9 months and she must be kept under full treatment supervision and rest rest is needed for the for the mother so uh, I, i i think so compensation should be given for taking herself her health as well as the baby self for taking care of her uh, uh, nourishing food supplements for everything she needs a compensation don't make the word it should not be commercial it is the word compensation so 20000 per month some compensation should be given for the surrogate mother so my submission to this august house is i need these two things should be uh, better defined by our honorable minister i he is smiling at me i i i need these thing so surrogate mothers emotionally and uh, uh, especially they are giving their life they are actually completely surrendering their life because in any any case there may be plus or minus so they may go for 
uh, even death in some circumstances because when there is over bleeding after immediately after the delivery then they have they are forced to go their life is at stake so and these things we have to keep in mind and uh, it's a very comprehensive bill i support this bill but these issues has to be brought out at rules in the uh, bill and i with this what i support the